Obviously, I'm here again, back at Transition Skate Park. This is pretty much my home, like I've said, and it's like, honestly, a fantasy factory for us for the last 10 years. There's been so many amazing, amazing moments. What's up? Weezy right here. Just finished skating at Transition Skate Park. Boys, session is on. <laughs> the craziest stuff has happened here. I couldn't even go into it. It would be a documentary film in itself. <laughs> but I spend a ton of time here. You know, all of my friends have grown up here. Think about what he's doing while he's in there. Maybe some shit. We've seen so many people that spent all their time here honing their crafts go on to just do incredible things, you know? I just can't do it like that. This is just an amazing place, and I wanted to do it more justice. Maybe eventually I will, but I figured I'd touch on it a little bit. I'm so deep in this short film I'm creating that I've been spending all my time here editing, and in the process I just watch people learn and do their thing, and it's just like this really inspiring thing. I can just go edit and just be around people who are progressing their crafts, and I think that's really dope. This episode or vlog is centered around just drawing passion from anything you see. It doesn't matter if it's related to your craft. You know, it's just about drawing passion from everything. We're gonna get right into it. The first part of the episode is from a time where they built this giant mega ramp quarter in the parking lot. And they built it for two days, and then my friend jumped out of a crane, attached to a bungee cord, and did some crazy stuff. I've touched on it a little bit before, but we're gonna go deep into it now. Check it out. Kind of scary up here. Oh yeah. Huh? All right, I have to interrupt this vlog to say, when you see stuff in action sports with crazy stunts or you see things on TV where some mathematician supposedly did the math or things like that, or the action sports athlete, you just, you just assume they're gonna be fine. You know, you assume, oh, this person is so skilled, it's all right, they're so highly intelligent, and you know, they, they'll be fine. But I want you to keep in mind, you don't really know action sports athletes like I do. Look at the responses following this of all the people involved and how complex their responses are. And that'll let you know, we really are just some gnarly people who try some things. That's it. So, you know, don't assume that everything's like this. I mean, it is calculated. This one was calculated by someone smarter than us, but he's also from action sports. So sometimes that little bit of crazy you wanna see slightly overwhelms the fact that something might be way too risky, you know, but usually it works, or sometimes it works. We'll see. Look at these responses, for real. Thoughts on this? 
here. I don't have any thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Boosty, thoughts on this? This is crazy. Oh, this is big as f <laughs> This is huge. Straight f Jake. It's not big enough. <laughs> what? Make another 10 feet. Guess who's back in town? Yeah. Young Tyler. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, this is so scary! It's getting taller, too. <laughs> no, it's not. It's coming up here. The big piece? No, it's not! <laughs> No, it's not! Hey, do you want to see something? Yeah. Okay. We're gearing up for winter. That means it's cold and we spend a lot of time in the skate park. I always spend a lot of time in the skate park. Randy just made the power move of all power moves. 
basketball season. This is about to be the funnest thing ever. Come challenge me, get crossed over. Westbrook, Russell, Kobe, Mamba. That's not that dumb for him. About to learn to dunk by the end of winter. Gotta get my hops up. YouTuber? Because we skate and ride bikes, everything we do is about tricks, so of course we end up shooting trick shots. I'm into the fundamentals. I'd rather go Westbrook on you, break some ankles, but whatever, let them get their little trick shots off. time I got it. This is the third time she's been hit. She Tell literally me. just said, like, not even a minute ago, don't hit me, I'll kill you. She's already been hit twice. We're out here trying to pretend these trick shots happen fast, but they don't. Randy's about to shoot from upstairs. It's possible. It's all possible. <laughs> it's super, super bizarre how the world makes you feel like to be comfortable, you're supposed to categorize everything and if you're a skateboarder, you're supposed to pay attention to skateboarding. If you're a basketball player, you're just supposed to pay attention to that. And it's so bad for your long-term interests to be like that. I've never cared what anyone chose to do. I just care how they chose to do it. No matter what, if you strip everything down to its core, it's just another human being displaying their passion in their most intense moments. And that's the most powerful thing to witness. It doesn't matter if they're rolling on four wheels or two, or sprinting down court on their feet. They're all running off the same root emotion. And when you allow that fact to inspire you, you're in the right place for your own personal growth. I don't gotta soar like Westbrook to soar like Westbrook. You feel what I'm saying? You guys are crazy if you thought I was really about to dunk that. I'm not a ball player. And sticks the dagger into the rockets. But I'm the Westbrook of creating things. 
I put up a triple double every time I got a new idea. And I'm not afraid to leave everything on the court in the process.